Okay, so I've seen a lot of Dragon Ball fans and content creators freaking out over these new drafts here, which show that the Red Ribbon are going to be the new bad guys again for the new arc. And honestly, I don't really think that that's this, that bad. Like, yes, it's a continuation of Superhero, but again, this is brand new content. With the Superhero stuff, we've already seen it. We really know what's happening. With this, we're getting a continuation, and I think people are forgetting that Carmine actually survived. This dude, you know, in the movie was kind of left up in the air, but here in the manga, he survived. And we got to see last chapter that he escapes and, you know, wants to go back to their head base, their their home base. And we see here in the drafts that, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to see because these drafts are barely done, but, you know, they're fighting some people, you know, it looks like some androids, um, you know, some cops. I really can't really make out much here, but you see, like, here's a little red ribbon van with Carmine and the guys. There's Carmine. And um, something about, you know, they're meeting up with some security guard, um, security guard 15, not Android 15, and they're going to do something nefarious. Now, a lot of fans are very disappointed in this because it's not Black Frieza. Don't worry, you're going to get your recolor of Frieza at some point, and he's still going to be weaker than Beerus. I don't know how, but, you know, that's just how it works. But, um... I actually kind of enjoy that we're getting a continuation of this kind of arc. Even if it doesn't turn out to be something big, even if we don't get a new s strong android or perfect Cell Max out of this, or a, you know, Radis comes back as an android or something like that, I'm kind of happy. Even if it's just some sort of slice of life kind of mini arc here, it's brand new content. It, you know, builds on the verse. It's not the Goku and Vegeta show. You know, we get to focus on the other characters some more. We get, get, get to focus on Goten and Trunks again and Mai. And I actually really like that Slice of Life stuff. If you think about it, a lot of the Slice of Life stuff in Dragon Ball, was the best stuff. Goku and Piccolo getting their driver's license. Gohan going to high school. Really, you know, classic stuff. Doesn't always have to be the big bad. You know, Black Frieza, um, you know, Goku Black, uh, you know, Jiren. Like, we could actually just have, like, you know, some Earthbound stuff. Just build world build just here on earth like in the original dragon ball and go on adventures on earth and again the red ribbon i think people are forgetting like they could pull pretty much anything out of their hat like they have unlimited potential we might get a perfect cell max we might get the big bad but you know we don't know and i think people jumping on the bandwagon you know already trashing this arc already it's a little too early and even if it is slice of life i enjoy that but even if it is you know it might be and um I think that people are just jumping the gun here and we need to wait and see. But either way, I'm going to enjoy it because I like both. I like the Slice of Life stuff and I like if we get the big bad um, Perfect Cell Max. We're, I don't know what direction this is going to go, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. And, um, I, you know, personally, I like, you know, we're focusing on Krillin, Goten, Trunks, Piccolo again. You know, maybe some other characters. Maybe we'll get some Hercules, some Roshi. You know, I look forward to it, so... Yeah, I just wanted to give my opinion on these drafts, and um, we're going to have probably some more coming out in the coming day or so, and I'll do a video on that. And uh, wherever you are, peace out.